So how's it going guys? So I want to show you my current gaming headset. This right here um, that I have in my hands. This right here is the Astro A50. This right here is the Gen 2 for the Xbox One gaming console. Um, this right here is the best headset you can get pretty much for console and PC gaming. For the most part, at least be fully able to use the headset for different things. Um, some headsets have a little bit of an advantage over this one, but none of them can kind of can really beat the build quality of this and the looks. You can't really beat an Astro headset when it comes to looks. This right here looks pretty freaking cool. You know, I mean, you can you see somebody wearing this or whatever, you know, you're like, yeah, this is a normal headset. Like, yeah, it's an Astro headset. What else am I supposed to wear? You know, I mean, the 850s that I have, these are wireless or whatever. Um, these are able to work with the 360 and the Xbox One. It's a little harder to use them on the 360 because you've got to get some different audio adapters and different things like that. Um, this right here, if I remember right, it's got 50 millimeter neodymium um, drivers in the ears or whatever. This right here has three preset modes on the microphone, on the headset itself or whatever. I'm trying not to hit that or whatever. Let me see. Come on. There it goes. Um, it's got three different settings on it. It's got the first setting would be just like the low end, like everything's mixed in. Um, the second one's kind of more of in the middle-ish. It's kind of higher or whatever. You got the third one, which is mainly um, higher sounds or whatever they call it. Like It's like a super crunch one or whatever. It picks up a lot higher noises, you know, um, for like competitive gaming, I don't know how the heck people can play games like that, but I guess some people do. You got your, you got the power button right over top of the mode selector things. Um, the voice to game volume is integrated into the left ear cup, well the right ear cup or whatever. On the outside of it, you know, you can press one way to go up voice, one to go on the game or whatever, you know, it's good for audio mixing on the go. The microphone for the headset is not bad, it's not the worst one yet, but um, it's not the greatest, I mean, it is flexible, you know, bendy, bendy, you know, it's not bad, I mean, it's not absolute greatest when it comes to bends, but, I mean, it's decent enough you can live with it. Um, the posts on the sides are made out of metal and um, they have different settings on it. You can go and adjust by the sides of the headset. It's got memory foam, padding on it. Um, I'd love to have seen potentially um, like they have with their TR series that they had an integration of the removable ear cups or whatever that you can replace with like leather ones and different things like that. That'd be very nice to have seen with the Astro A50s. Um, the headset's very great. It can, with the stock Xbox sort of um, mix amp, you're able to get around. You're able to get around, if I remember right, up to 30 feet, 30 meter, 30 feet, I think, um, or whatever, just like 10 yards or something. I don't know. Don't ask. Don't ask me really, but um, you know, well, 10 meters or whatever. But. Um, I mean, this is a great headset. You can get a PC-specific adapter that uses USB or whatever. I still kind of suggest using the Xbox One or whatever, um, base amp or whatever. This right here, to tell you the truth before I even go any further, this will work with the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3, any computer pretty much, any phone, anything like that, just as long as you have the right hardware. If you use it on uh, PlayStation 4, you will probably not be able to use chat. Potentially not. Um, I really am not completely certain on how the chat works for PlayStation because I don't have a PlayStation. I own an Xbox One. And I don't really know. Um, if it if you can get a wire or whatever, like older stereo headsets, then you're fine. When it comes to PC, you can just use this simply. You just go and set the microphone on this headset as your main recording thing or whatever. And automatically use it. Uh, the microphone itself, also, when again you have it down, it picks up noise. We put it up, whatever. 
put it up there, it mutes it, or whatever, it auto mutes it when it goes up to there. So, I mean, that's kind of nice, but then it creates more trouble. It kind of reduces some of the upgradeability, like you could change the speaker plates in that um, with the previous generation of Astro A50 headset. The headset itself gets quite a bit of gameplay out of it when you're playing on it. Uh, if you're not playing, if you're playing like a nice shooter or whatever, a shooter game, you can probably get around eight or so odd hours before it needs to charge. And it usually takes about half an hour to an hour to fully charge for using a standard USB cable from the from a computer or an Xbox. It'd probably charge faster if you use a plug in to like the AC or whatever, an AC adapter for it. It takes a micro USB for the charging. You know, it includes one, but you can obviously use different ones. You don't have to use a stock one. Um, you got your volume thing on the side too. I um, mean, just going to turn it up and down. This right here is independent of what it would be in game and different stuff like that, which makes it very good for recording video. Um, because you don't have to turn up your game volume in game, like when it comes to like Razer, like my Kraken 7.1s, they're crap. And the fact that I had to turn up my game volume and all that, I had to turn up everything for me able to be able to hear it, you know, it kind of sucks. But um, thanks to Sony Vegas, I can adjust different sound settings now, um, you know, so. Um, that's about all I can really say about this headset. I mean, it's not a bad headset at all. Um, you should be able to use it with the PlayStation 4, like I was saying, as long as it supports a stereo microphone adapter in some way. You may have to get a few different cords. Um, like, I bought to be able to use it with, like, my 360 and my cell phone. I could use it with my cell phone, too. Um, I bought one of the Xbox... 360 stereo Xbox one stereo headset adapter kit things or whatever and I want to use the cable I the talkback cable I had on my for my x12s or whatever I use that I use the adapter and plugged in the whatever and plugged it in the headset and boom I was ready to go pretty much um, I mean you know I mean it's not a bad idea to buy this headset the only thing that kills this headset is the price the price is three hundred dollars US at the moment for this headset at least when I purchased it, I paid three hundred dollars, and that was a year and a half ago, I believe. I haven't really gotten around to reviewing because I did have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, it did get dropped and broken, and I had to send it in to get repaired. They're really good about their warranty. They do not really play around when it comes to it. As long as you show that if something happened, they will pretty much fix it for you to the best of their ability. Um, you know, it took it about two weeks to get fully fixed. You know, I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, the headset right here is refurbished or whatever. I think I think it's refurbished. No, I think it was brand new. I think it was brand new is what this one was because it didn't feel like it was refurbished. Could have been refurbished. I don't know. But I mean, the headset's amazing. The Astro A50 um, Gen 2s are pretty great of headsets. The audio quality for the headset is amazing. Like when I'm listening to like music and that, I can hear the music very great. It sounds way better than most other studio grade headsets well headphones or whatever um you know and they're wireless and they're still cheaper than most stereo headphones that are to a certain price point and different stuff like that i mean you can't really beat this headset in terms of ability um if you can't really afford the 300 dollars price tag then you can obviously go and get um like the let me think like you could go and get like the a40trs maybe you know the a40tr or the Normal old A40. I mean, I'd say go for the A40TR if you want the wired still and you want to be able to upgrade speaker plates and all that other stuff and expand the headset, different things like that. I definitely suggest that. I was going to buy that. But I like having the wireless capability of this because I freaking hate wires. I hate wires. And before some of you say that this headset's not fully wireless because I have to use the little chat adapter with it. How often am I going to use it? Probably once a week. You know, that'll be like on Fridays and maybe Saturdays, and that's about it. That's about the only times I'll be using that. You know, I've never really used that any other time, you know. I mean, so. It's pretty much wireless. To me, at least, it's fully wireless, pretty much to me. I mean, like, you have to use that for the chat, but I don't think a lot of people are going to buy this headset just specifically for chat. You know, I think they're going to mainly buy it just for 
usability, you know. Um, so, I mean, I'll end the video here for you guys. Um, I'll leave a link to Astro in my description of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy making this sort of stuff, especially when it comes to like my gaming gear and different things like that, and telling you guys what I use and um, maybe helping you decide what you want to get. Uh, this right here is definitely a good upper tier uh, headset to use for gaming and different things like that. So I'll end the video for you guys, and thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys later.